Today I have a story from Singer's Stories for Children, adapted for Rosh Hashanah, of course. Shlemiel was the most foolish man in hell. For this reason, the people called him Shlemiel, which means fool. Now one day he decided to make his fortune, so off he drove to the town of Lemberg. There he rented a room at the inn and settled down for the night. However, just as he was falling asleep, he heard people screaming and a trumpet blowing louder and louder. He called for the innkeeper and asked what on earth all the commotion was. Oh, said the innkeeper, one of the houses down the street is on fire, and the fire wagons have come to put it out. That's good, said Shlemiel, who was so lazy and tired that he went straight to sleep without bothering to go out and watch all the excitement. The next morning, all the guests were gossiping in the lobby about how the fire had started and how long it had taken to put it out. How did they put it out, said Shlemiel? Did they do so by blowing that trumpet I heard? Well, in Lemberg, the people weren't always that honest, and one thought he'd have quite a bit of fun with Shlemiel. Oh, yes, he said. In Lemberg, we have this horn that will blow out fires. You put it to your lips, you sound the notes, and all of the fires suddenly extinguish themselves. Shlemiel had heard of many wonders in this city of Lundberg, but he had never heard of a firefighting trumpet. However, he thought to himself, what a wonderful thing this would be for Helm. How many fires they could put out. How many people would pay him to use this wondrous horn. How much would it cost, he asked. Oh, only two hundred gilden, said the man. Now this was quite a sum of money. In fact, it came out to half of Mrs. Schlemiel's dowry. However, as Schlemiel thought it over, he decided that being able to end fires in Helm for all time, with no effort at all, was certainly worth the investment. In Helm, during the summers, the houses were very susceptible to fire, since they were all made of cheap wood. Sometimes entire streets burned down. They only had one fireman in Helm, and he had a single wagon drawn by an ancient horse who never moved very fast. By the time the wagon and its one barrel of water showed up, everything had often burned all the way to the ground. However, with this horn, he could extinguish the fires much more quickly. He made his purchase and headed back home. Back in Helm, he showed all the villagers the amazing fire-extinguishing horn he had acquired. That's just a ram's horn, the others said to him. Sure, you can blow it and make a noise, but it's not going to extinguish fires. That's silly. I don't know, said one of the elders. The people of Lemberg have many wonderful gifts. They might actually have invented such a thing. And the people squabbled and squabbled over whether Shlemiel had been cheated or whether he had really brought back a wondrous thing. Shlemiel, meanwhile, knew for certain that this was a wonder tool. So he decided to make his point. He went straight to his father-in-law's house and set it on fire, holding his horn at the ready, preparing to blow out the fire, after he had made his point. Now his father-in-law's house was old and dry, and soon the flames had covered in entirely. Shlemiel triumphantly put the horn to his lips and blew. Nothing happened. Again he blew. Nothing happened. Now, his father-in-law had not been in the house. He had been standing on the street criticizing Shlemiel for the hundredth time and telling him he was certain this horn would never work. And Mrs. Shlemiel, having married out, was living in her own house now and was not in the father-in-law's house either. So nobody was harmed 
but all the possessions were lost as the fire blazed and blazed and Schlemiel blew and blew and yet the fire could not be extinguished. The fire wagon showed up, but far too late to do anything besides soak the ashes. An emergency session of the elders of Helm was called. The elders considered what had happened for seven days and seven nights and decided that clearly what had happened was that the magical fire extinguishing horn had worked in Lemberg, but transporting it to Helm had made it lose its power for some reason. One of them proposed a law that never again should they import firefighting horns or trumpets or any instrument of any sort from Lemberg to Helm, and this law was duly passed. <laughs> 